Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode here on the Juice Footage Garage. So today I wanted to start wiring in the Holly EFI stuff. As you guys saw in the previous videos, we installed the gas tank, the fuel line, all that good stuff in anticipation of the Holly EFI, right? We even got the battery and the battery tray. But I came over here this morning and I started analyzing the situation. And I said, well, why am I going to wire the Holly EFI today if there's so many loose ends? I can't even start the car yet because the coolant system's not even done. If you guys remember, I'm still waiting for some fittings to come in on the mill. So we need a 90 degree fitting that I'm waiting for it to come in. And yeah, and then we talked about maybe going from here to here or blocking it off, all that good stuff. And the reason is because we don't know if the heater core is good or not because this car was sitting for a long time. And with my luck, it's probably bad along like, like the brake system. Everything was bad on it. So I'm almost positive that the heater core is going to leak. And by looking at the hoses here, they're all chewed up. So I'm almost positive that that thing is bad. And I don't want to hook up the heater hoses to it um, and then damage the interior, right? So either I block them off and forget about it and just do the holly efi stuff and start it up or we do the job right and we replace the heater core so that's gonna suck guys but you know what here on the juice footage garage we try to do everything the right way um we not, we don't always do it the right way but we always strive to try to do the best job possible so i really want to heater on this car i really want it to kind of be as close to original as possible and not too many mickey mouses or you know jimmy rigged here and there so i'm gonna i'm gonna change the heater core so i'm gonna tackle that today it's only a little a little delay in the holly efi stuff but you know at least we'll have a heater and a functioning heater core so let's get to this guys it's gonna be a mission i think i have to pull the whole dash off and everything but sheesh well, let's start there. Let's pull the dashboard. Heater core is somewhere in there, like deep in there buried. So this is what a heater core looks like. I'll show you guys here. Okay, guys. So basically what this little radiator does, it, it runs your coolant through here to warm it up. So we can have, so when the, when you turn on your, your, your heater it blows hot air through it right it's like a mini little radiator so i really didn't want to get rid of it guys i didn't really want to block it off i thought it was going to be like a, a mickey mouse or like you know kind of ghetto fab but i mean we like ghetto fab here but i didn't want to take away from the car i think it was like it was going to depreciate the car by like having everything like blocked off or not working right so yep so i bought it now i gotta change it and if you guys haven't figured it out i'm really dreading this because this is a mission okay so where do we start let's see here okay so let's see here okay so there's a screw here and a screw here for the dash pad and a couple down there screws all along here so you have one here one here one here one here and those two over there so let's pull those off Okay, we're definitely gonna have to vacuum back here. 
felt that. Okay, so now we have to pull the dashboard, I think. Where's the heater core? Okay, down there somewhere. Oh my goodness, what did I get myself into? Okay, so what do we have here? We're gonna have to take this guy off. That looks like it holds this part. Mm. Okay, so here we're gonna use a 716 uh, socket and pull this bolt out. Okay, so that's one. I need a little guy up here too. What's holding it on the bottom? Let's see. Oh, there's another one down here. Okay. Okay, so then. Okay, so that's that one. Okay, so now. Okay, and same thing on this side. Be another one down here. Okay. Okay, so we've pulled both sides and it still ain't coming out. So I'm thinking something's holding it down here. So let's go ahead and pull these plastics off right here. They're held on by Phillips screws and see if we could uncover another attachment point somewhere. So let's try that. Okay, so I don't know what's holding it. So I'm gonna pull down the steering column a little bit. There's two bolts that hold it up. Uh, I'm gonna try that and see if I could get a, a better visual of something that's holding the dashboard in there. So let's try that. There he goes, these guys. So I'm gonna try that, let's try that. Okay, so I uncovered another bolt. So if you look down here, it's kind of hard to tell, but once you drop the, the steering column uh, back here and back of this bracket, right back here, there's a bolt. So let me see if I can get a, a view of it. Let me see here. So. I'm gonna try that. So I'm gonna pull that bolt and I think that's the one. So let's try that. Okay, so um, I think I found another bolt. It's right here in this area. Uh, you could get it from the bottom, but I think it'll be easier if I just pull this AC duct out and then I think I could grab it. Okay, so I'm gonna snake this guy out of here. Sheesh. It's all messed up. I could probably fix it with tape, honestly. I don't think I'm gonna buy a new one. I'm probably just gonna rewrap it with tape. But I don't know, I'll check. It's probably only a couple bucks. We'll see. Ew. All right, so now, there it is right there. You guys see it? I 
right there. That's our guy right there. So I'm guessing that end's gonna have another one like this. All right, and we gotta take this one off too. See how this this is held on. It's tied into the speaker, so we gotta pull the speaker bolt off too. So this guy and that guy. Okay. Okay, so that definitely worked. So now we need to find that same little bracket somewhere over here on this side. I'm guessing there has to be one somewhere here. Cause see now we can actually almost get it out, but okay. And let's also pull this vent here to get more uh, a better look in there. I don't see anything in here, guys. I'm gonna give this a good vacuum, too. Okay, got that guy. Has to be something else, let's see. Okay, so I came on this side and I pulled the speaker. It's two screws. Um, and then I found another little bolt here. So I think this guy might be another one that's holding the dash in, cause see? Okay, so now, okay, see, now we have more movement. Okay, that's perfect. Oh man, this thing is nasty. Okay. We still got something else though. We got more movement, that's for sure. But we still got, oh, here we go. Oh, there's one right there. <laughs> right there, obvious, obvious one. Typical me, always overseeing the obvious so. okay okay we're off here but there's something here on this side still ah well we have to unscrew the brake release too see down here Oh man. Okay. So we also have to unscrew this guy here. Gotta order a new one of this. Okay, so now what's holding this? something holding it still okay let me look under there on the bright side guys um, I get to paint this piece right here because I'm gonna have the dashboard out and well we can paint it so the bright side of things right and I did have to close the garage right now guys because all the light was beaming down on the camera and I don't know if it's gonna mess with it with the quality of the video there so if it is i apologize guys it is what it is i can't change the way the sun goes i can't change the way the sun goes up and down right so it isn't called up and down it's called rise and set so okay let's do this all right guys so i spent the last hour looking for another bolt attachment point i can't find that guy so i think What's holding it is probably going to be the speedometer cable. Um, I'm not sure though, because I can't really see in back of the gauges. So this is my plan right here. I'm going to pull the, the gauges off the dashboard and it looks like it's, it's, it's getting loose. So it's held on by a bunch of tiny little screws like this. So all around. So I'm going to pull those guys out and I think that's going to do the trick. So. Let's try that. And I was not filming that, but when I pulled the last screw, which was this little guy back here, uh, the dash just fell down. So, yep, 
it was the gauges that makes it a lot easier so now you guys know if you guys ever do this job unscrew the gauges and the dash comes right off so i'm gonna go grab my wife so i can get two people to pull this dash off uh so we don't break it so let me go call her all right guys so i pulled out this little um little vent box that sits right there in the middle and uh it's pretty cool there's a pencil stuck right there check it out there's a pencil it's a uh, cardinal number two I wonder if the original owner of this car wonder what school they went to. Imagine this is probably like when they were in school. That's trippy. That's dope. I'm gonna save it. It's stuck right here. Well, the heater core's in here. So, I mean, right now, we could. I think we could get to it right there, guys. But, man, I really want to paint this thing because it looks nasty. So, I could probably tape up the whole car and do it inside, but we're already here. Uh, it's only work. I'm going to pull it, but I think here, if you wanted to, you could change the heater core without even having to pull the rest of the dash. You could just drop it down like this. So, pull this guy out now. Should have done that first. Oh, boy. What is this? Okay guys, so what I ended up doing here is I just unscrewed the, the air conditioning and heating um, controls here. Uh, three screws, one, two, and three. Uh, well, it only had three, but there's a location for four screws. And I just unscrewed this, brought that out. Um, it had a, one of the I cut the wire for the door because it's an easy it's an easy fix right here I have plenty of space and then uh, I cut this ground and the 12 volt for the for the cigarette lighter because I couldn't get this plug off uh, without breaking it so I just figured I cut it it's easy I could wire it back together here um, <clears throat> there's some stuff that was already cut and damaged inside unscrew this stuff here for the gauges and disconnected two grounds that were back there and that's it um basically so just unplugged everything scooch it to the side and this dashboard should come out so let me try to do this Okay guys, so here's the dashboard. We took it down, we took it out. Um, as you guys can see, it looks really trashy compared to the whole car. It was really, it stuck out, it stood out like a sore thumb right there. It just looked bad um, compared to how nice the whole interior was. So it was a good call to take advantage right now that we have to pull the dashboard, you know, off a little bit for the, for the heater core. Um, might as well, we'll just pull it off and paint it and make it look nice and then put it back. I'm going to grab the shop vac and I'm going to give all this a really good vacuum because there's years and years and years of, of dust in here. And, but yeah, guys, it wasn't too bad. As you guys saw, nothing's impossible. It just takes a little bit of uh, hard work and patience, right? So... Before we get too derailed here with the uh, dashboard cosmetics, let's continue with the heater core removal and installation. Okay, so we got to take this plastic off. So there's a there's a screw down here, right there. There's a screw up here, somewhere up there. So let's pull those guys out. Yeah, it's gonna be those right there. Okay, so it's 
gonna it's definitely gonna have to be it's gonna be this guy here the one with the stud so it's gonna be that guy and one on the bottom so you gotta take screws off from the inside and the outside crazy install crazy repair no wonder i'm pretty sure the diesel used to charge a lot for this back in the day okay so you have to unscrew all these bolts they go all the way around this um this box here i don't know what you call it but uh there's a bunch of bolts that are on the bottom they're really hard to get so i had to actually pull down the fender well just enough to get a uh, some space to put my hand in there but i think now we should be able to pull it off so let's see goodness all of this work for this little guy insane engineers i tell you engineers okay so i removed all the little bolts that hold this metal plate on there and then now we're going to grab a flathead and pry it open so come on all right why is it not playing nice what's holding this thing okay and actually if you open this flap here you can see that there's two more screws so let's take those guys out yeah you need a longer extension okay so now we can pull it out there it is and Here it is guys, all that work for this. <sighs> Tell you what guys, never again. Even if they somebody tells me, hey, I'll pay you to change my heater core. Nope, not for hire. <laughs> this is crazy. All right guys, before I close this video out, I just wanna share with you guys that when I replace the OPGI uh, reproduction heater core, here there's some little clamps these guys right here which is what holds the heater core in place fix and it bolts up to this metal plate here by these four screws well it's not identical to the original one so these brackets here that hold it in place don't have enough um, they're not big enough for the reproduction heater core so you, you're gonna have a hard time putting this heater core on so as you guys can see here, the bolts that I took out of there are tiny. They were some little, little guys, like not these, they're smaller ones. Uh, they're somewhere in here. But they're tiny guys, they're really shorties. Oh, they're on here already, that's why I can't find them. They're really short. Well, what happens is, since the, the, since the heater core is a lot bigger, you can't reach this bracket so you can't hold it in place so the fix that worked for me is i found a longer screw and it's not identical but it's like from the camaro and it worked because it's a lot longer so it gave me uh, enough length to grab onto the bracket here which now it works as you guys can see here let me put it in so you guys can see but that's how much of a difference see that big uh that big gap right here let me see if i can show you guys see this right here this clamp is too small now because the heater core is not the same so if you put a longer uh, bolt you should be okay like i did that's how i got it to work so let's go ahead and put this thing back together okay there it goes Okay, so it worked guys, not too bad. So a little bit of um, a little bit of jimmy rigging, like I said, you're gonna have to play with that bracket. And uh, I just found a, a bigger bolt and uh, it worked. So it's on there good. 
So just a heads up guys, if you guys run into this issue, uh, don't freak out. Just find a longer bolt so you can have enough length to grab that bracket that holds the heater core up and you guys should be okay. But I'm gonna close this video guys out here. It's gonna get way too long. I'm pretty sure this video is probably like a couple hours long already. So I'm gonna have to condense it as much as I can. But putting everything back together is just gonna be basically reverse order and yeah uh it's gonna take me a little bit long though because i'm gonna wipe everything down vacuum everything make everything look super clean before i put everything back together so whew, it was a mission guys but thanks again guys for hanging out with me today in the garage your company is always appreciated and we'll see you guys on the next episode later guys